Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today for my video, How to Get Whiter Teeth at Home. Yes, that is something I'm always kind of following along with, getting whiter teeth. And for those of you who are curious, I don't have veneers. Sometimes people in the comments will say, oh, do you have veneers? No, I don't. I do have a three tooth bridge though that goes from about my dog tooth on back here. So in the close up pictures I'll show you, I have some before and after pictures. You'll see some black above there, unfortunately. But these are pretty much my own teeth, except for three that I had to have replaced. It's a long story. It really had nothing to do with my teeth, but I did get a three tooth bridge there for another health issue I was having. And before I get into that, I did want to quickly show you the outfit and jewelry that I'm wearing today. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. We would love to have you. Okay, let's get into this. How how to have whiter teeth at home. And I originally was going to do a video that I thought would be really positive about a certain toothpaste. It is the Arm & Hammer Essentials Fluoride Free Toothpaste. They also have it in fluoride filled. It is whitened plus activated charcoal and it says whiter teeth in three days. Whiter teeth in three days. And here is its picture on Amazon. I got several different tubes of it all for about $17. And I was thinking it would probably work out really well because it was pretty well reviewed. And I will tell you that although this is an activated charcoal toothpaste, I am so happy with it because it does not have the black look of a lot of activated charcoal toothpaste. I think that is the grossest thing ever to have a charcoal toothpaste that is black. It just does not seem to me like it would ever whiten your teeth. Let me know in the comment section if you disagree, if you have a black charcoal product that you think does well. This is just a tinge of gray in that toothpaste and that did not bother me at all. And before I show you my results on this toothpaste and then get into what I do at home that totally whitens my teeth for about a dollar, it is a really wonderful way to whiten your teeth at home. I do want to say something I did like about this toothpaste is that it gives your teeth that beautifully clean, just been to the dentist kind of feeling. Really did like that. But let me go ahead and show you my before and after results and they weren't exactly what I expected. There I am in the top picture before three days ago. And the second picture is after only one use of this toothpaste. And look at the difference before and after. And that was one use of this toothpaste. And I really thought, oh my gosh, I have found a phenomenal winner but unfortunately that was not what happened. And as you can see, after three days of using this toothpaste, I was a bit disappointed because after only one use, look how white my teeth were in the second picture down. But after three days, my teeth, I don't think even looked as good as they did in the beginning in my before picture. And so that prompted me to go ahead and actually show you what I use to keep my teeth white because I truly have not found anything better. And altogether, I think my tooth whitener at home costs like less than a dollar. It is amazing. But first I start with this toothpaste, but I will tell you, I like this toothpaste. This is the Opalescence Whitening Toothpaste Original Cool Mint. I really do like this toothpaste, but I don't think that is why I particularly have white teeth. My secret to having white teeth is two little ingredients here. The first is Arm & Hammer baking soda, and there that is, and I just keep it in a little Tupperware. And then I use peroxide, and how I use it is, I use my toothpaste, and by the way, this is a fabulous whitening Sonicare toothbrush that is on sale right now on Amazon. I wasn't even going to mention it particularly, but I noticed it's 30% off, and it really works. I have found that this really helps give you whiter teeth as well. But what I do is I put the toothpaste on the toothbrush. I'll go ahead and do that here. I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of toothpaste on the toothbrush. There we go, something, something like that. And then I go ahead and I just dip it in the common household baking soda. And this is just the baking soda that you get, just, you know, that's like $2, $3, something like that. And then I go ahead and I just spray it with hydrogen peroxide. And this is the food grade hydrogen peroxide, which is 3%, I believe. You just spray it and then you go ahead and brush your teeth with it. And amazingly enough, even after the first time you use this, your teeth look whiter and brighter. And over time, it really does brighten up your teeth. And I'll show you after my disappointing results, after three days with the Arm & Hammer toothpaste, I went ahead and just used this once and I'll show you my results. And in the fourth picture there, you can see my results. I actually brushed my teeth in the third picture using the Arm & Hammer baking soda toothpaste. I took that picture, did not think the results looked very good. 
Then I went in and used my normal toothpaste plus baking soda and peroxide spray and look at how white my teeth are. And I just did that a couple of hours ago because I did want to share that with you, but I absolutely love the results I achieve using the simple household baking soda plus the hydrogen peroxide. And in case you're wondering, using baking soda on your teeth is very, very safe. Let me show you here a chart. It's an abrasiveness chart that compares the use of plain baking soda with just different forms of toothpaste. And baking soda is one of the least harsh ingredients you can actually use on your teeth. This is toothpaste abrasiveness ranked by RDA, relative dentin abrasion value. And there, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, plain baking soda got a seven. And as you can see in the lower right-hand corner, zero through 70 was a low abrasive product. And those are products ranked in the blue. And as you can see, plain baking soda is one of the least abrasive products you can use on your teeth. There you can see Aquafresh Sensitive gets a 91 ranking. Colgate Whitening on the right hand side gets a 124 in abrasiveness and even Crest Sensitive Whitening Toothpaste gets a 152. So as you can see, plain baking soda is very safe to use on your teeth and I have found that it creates beautiful whitening results and I even went to my dentist because I was concerned about that and I asked her about it and she said, Beth, actually your teeth have been looking wonderful. I wondered what you were doing and you are very safe in using the plain baking soda and the hydrogen peroxide spray on your teeth. She was totally in support of that. And while we're talking teeth, I did want to show you another couple of things that I use regularly, really love. The first is this Listerine flosser tool. And I think this plus a bunch of heads are maybe two or three bucks. It's really, really a good deal. Very easy to floss your teeth. And about once a week or so, I do use a tooth whitener. These are whitening strips. And these are the Lumino whitening strips. And it says whitens your teeth in just 30 minutes without sensitivity. And I have never had sensitivity problems with this. And I find that this particular brand really keeps my teeth white and sparkling. And if you have any tooth whitening tips and or great products you would like to share, I would love to see the information in the comment section below the video because that way we can help each other. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, something useful for your life. And this one kind of goes right along with white teeth. And that is sometimes the best way to make your teeth look whiter is to find a really good red lipstick that just kind of brightens up your teeth. I love this one. This is a MAC lipstick in the color You're So Vain. I'll kind of show it to you there. I think it is an absolutely beautiful red. And here it is, and I would say it is a very gentle red, if you can say that. It is not a harsh red at all, and I think it would be very good on cool or warm skin tones. I particularly like it because it is not an orangey red. I would say it has a bit more pink than that. So if you're looking for the perfect red to spice up your lips and to potentially make your teeth look a bit whiter, you might give this color a try. Well, that's the end of my video for the day, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.